Welcome out to another episode of It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This week's episode was recorded at ConFest, so you'll still hear the outside noise and possibly other things going on from other tents. But unlike the other ConFest episode we've released, this is not a remix. This is a brand new installment of Daniel Kravitz's Chosen One. Before we begin, we'd like to thank ComFest for having us out. We'd like to thank Mad Lab Theater, our regular host site. And we'd like to thank parent network IABD Presents. Go to IABDPresents.com to see all the different content that the Entertainment Network's putting out. There are podcasts, there is written work, and there are some videos as well. So a variety of content for all of your entertainment needs. We're based here in Columbus, Ohio. This week, I'd like to highlight It's All Been Trekked Before, which is a Star Trek rewatch podcast. We're starting back at the beginning in 1966 and working our way all the way to the present. So this podcast is going to run a really, really, really long time. Uh, there's also a, an inauguration day special coming up later this week. So now is the perfect time to jump into It's All Been Trekked Before. Rewatch with us as we work our way from the original series through the films, Next Gen, DS9, Voyager, Animated, Discovery, everything else. So now enjoy Daniel Kravitz's Chosen One, Three's Company. Our next feature this afternoon is Daniel Kravitz's Chosen One. Daniel is an unhappy antique store owner who has been tapped as the Chosen One to stand up against the ultimate evil and save the world. You're welcome. <laughs> Together with his best friend, Abby. Who is at work running the shop? Move on. All right. His mentor, Rufus Reginald Rochester. Good day to you all. And the head of Gresset the Green, which Daniel chopped off his first week on the job. <clears throat> Mr. Narrator, I have told you I am a prisoner, not on Daniel's team, and my body is growing back. <laughs> it's so cute, and way too tiny for your gigantic head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daniel will battle the minions of darkness and protect us all. I have a friend and my heart begins to mend Abby Reynolds would never do me wrong then one day this weird guy shows up at my door speaking of weird things that I've never heard before monsters that are green like Crescent the Green they keep coming in a great big throng I now hate my life even more each day. I wish they'd all just go far, far away. Especially that Rufus. He is such a frickin' doofus. I hate that guy. That's the end of the Daniel Kravitz song. That's the end of the Daniel Kravitz song. Goodbye. (laughs) 
tonight's episode, Three's Company. We join Daniel, Gresson and Rufus, in Daniel's training center. All right, that's it, Daniel. Deflect Gresson's claw. It's kind of hard to deflect when it's below my knee. Uh, if you had not destroyed my body, I would not claw you. I would claw you in your stupid face. Then I would lick your blood like a refreshing water fountain as it dribbles off your weak chin. And I would gargle it and spit it back on your face. Then I do I not have a weak chin. Agree to disagree. You've been spending way too much time with Abby. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! I may not be able to claw your face, but your ankle is now bleeding gloriously. Daniel. May, may I lick it? <laughs> Daniel, please concentrate. If you cannot even deflect Grezit in his, well, less than ideal state, how do you expect to take on the, well, larger threats? You know, Rufio, if you keep talking about the ultimate evil and all these terrible monsters, but there hasn't even, it hasn't even been all that bad. The worst thing was that awful dragon thing in the other dimension, but we went after that, so not the other way around. What's the big deal? Well, it's only a matter of time. Now, I do not know why you have not had more serious attackers before now, but most chosen ones are beset almost immediately. I do not know when, but they will be coming. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, who could that be? Well, is being psychic uh, one of the powers of the chosen one? What? No, I don't believe so. What? Do you then feel that you- Then why would you expect me to know who's at the door? Oh, I see. Clever. Ha ha! Daniel Kravitz schooled you, old man! Hey, right, Greza, you need to stop using slang and casual phrases. It just doesn't sound right coming from you. Listen, I am too legit to quit! Hey, hey! Oh my god. Rufus, are you going to see who's at the door? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sir. Oh! Three spiky red demons enter the training center. Daniel doesn't move, looking them over warily. Are you Daniel Kravitz? Which one are you asking? The tall one. Maybe Daniel Kravitz is the green one. Mm-hmm. You're an idiot. He's got to be the old one. No, chosen ones are never old, and they are not monsters, so he's got to be the tall one. Ah, do not call me a monster! Why? You are one, right? No, I am a guru, a proud and bloodthirsty species. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. My brothers and I like bloodthirsty. <laughs> Excuse me, you all came in barging in here and started talking so fast, you didn't even give me a chance to answer your question. Were you wanting to know if I am Daniel Kravitz, the chosen one, or not? Yes, that's exactly what we want to know. Okay, well, can I ask who you are? I'm Razzle, and this is my brother, Razzle. Hello. And this is my other brother, Jeff. (laughs) Hello, nice to meet you. (laughs) Why is it nice to meet them, moron? We came here to kill them. Blah, blah, blah. Now, if I'm the chosen one, Jeff, how how did you get a normal name when these guys have ridiculous ones? Our names are not ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, Jeff has the ridiculous name. They're right. It's pretty ridiculous. Who ever heard of a demon named Jeff? Frazzle, Razzle, sure, but never Jeff. <laughs> he is right. Jeff <laughs> is a pretty ridiculous name for a demon. Crescent, please. Crescent? Crescent the Green? Mm-hmm. I've heard of you. Aren't you the fierce guru monster that single-handedly slaughtered the entire village a while back? Oh, well, I have five hands, so it was not single-handedly. Mm, got real monsters. Always literal. You are literal! Ooh, nice one, Grizzit. <laughs> Why, thank you, Daniel Kravitz. I was being sarcastic! Aha! So you are Daniel Kravitz. Slow down, brother. We need to be absolutely sure he's Daniel Kravitz before we kill him. Father said... Father isn't here, Jeff. Do you always do what father tells you to do when he's not looking? Of course not. I'm a demon. You sure don't act like one. Ah, uh, so are you Daniel Kravitz, the chosen one? Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Yes, I am. Wait, the cat bag? I do not see a cat. Hush, Grizzly. Oh my god. Excellent, Daniel Kravitz. Then prepare to die. 
Move aside, old man. Whoa. Okay, first off, did you just call Rufio here old? Only I can call him that, so let's get that so. What are you going to do about it? Well, I may just have to kill you with, um, Pee-wee here. Who's Pee-wee? Obviously, that's what he's named his axe, Dumbo. Though, it is a stupid name for an axe. <laughs> oh, Pee-wee doesn't like to be called stupid. It's okay. I know how it feels. Okay. Your axe does not have feelings. Well, of course not. I was using personification to express the threat. What's persona what? Oh, uh, God, you're slow, Jeff. <laughs> then what is it, Razzle? Well, um, it's, um... It's pretending something that's not sentient is actually sentient. Uh, gentlemen, er, uh, well, uh, could we maybe discuss your purposes here? You, you mean to kill Daniel Kravitz, the chosen one? Right. Now, is that goal set in stone? A little wiggle room, maybe? Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, is there something else we could do instead that doesn't involve killing? <laughs> the old man's afraid to die. Do you blame him, J- Razzle? I, I wouldn't want to die either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not afraid to die. I am merely asking a question. Then, no, there is nothing else that you can do. We are not leaving here until Daniel Kravitz is dead. <laughs> okay. I'd like to see you try. Me too! Okay, okay. But another question, if I may. You said your father would be unhappy if you killed anyone else other than Daniel. Now, does that mean if Grezit and I stand in your way, you cannot kill us? <coughs> Why would I stand in their way? I do not like Daniel. The feeling is mutual, Grezit. Right, right, right. Well, well, does it? If you are in the way, we will kill you too. Father wouldn't like that. Well, father would make an exception if they're protecting Daniel Kravitz. Would he? I'm not sure. Probably. I just want to be sure. Uh, I say we kill them now, and then find out later if father is upset or not. Right. So, just to be clear, if I try to stand in your way, you will kill me. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay, Daniel, hand me my sword, would you please? Thank you. Here you go. Uh, whatever. Two against three. We have the better odds. I'm sorry. Can you not count? There are three of us. But the green one said he doesn't like you. Uh, agreed. I, I do not like Daniel Kravitz, but, but I tolerate Rufio. He is not as feeble as I first thought. If you attack him, I, I, I will fight with Daniel. Well, that makes it a more fair fight anyway, doesn't it? I hate you, Jeff. Are we going to stand around and yak, or are we going to fight? I vote for fight. Brothers, what do you say? Fight! Jeff? (laughs) Uh, Fight, I guess. Well, I mean, are you sure, Jeff? I mean, we don't want to put you out. I mean, it's kind of hot out. (laughs) No, no, I'll fight. (laughs) All right, so should we pair off then? Uh, Pair off? Yes, um, pair off, uh, humidity here. Uh, I think that would be far more civilized than a, you know, free-for-all. I don't mind a free-for-all. I can take these guys. Look at them. So, so can I! They're not here for you, Grezit. Huh, I can still take them all. Even in your current form with that tiny body. Oh, uh, yes, a duh, even in this current form. Fine. Bearing off is acceptable. I call Daniel Kravitz. I will take the monster. Ooh, I told you I am not a monster! Oh, I will so kill you for calling me that! Save it for the fight. Unless I kill you first. (laughs) I guess that leaves me with the old man. Well, uh, do you lots need anything before we begin? A spot of tea, perhaps? Uh, Yes, Jeff? No! Let's fight! Delightful. Well, Frazzle, uh, you go over there with Grezit. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, go on. Yes, that's right. Um, yeah, right, right here with me. All right, Razzle, uh, you, let's see. Uh, let's switch places here. Yes, oh, and then go down, down here with man. Jeff. Yes, excellent, good. Think we're ready? Can we begin now? I've already started. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Daniel swings his axe at Razzle, who quickly does. 
as Daniel swings back. Razzle jumps over it and swipes, drawing blood on Daniel's stomach. In the meantime, Rufus fights valiantly with Jeff, who is stronger and more surprisingly, more vicious. Luckily, Rufus is quicker and avoids being cut. Resident and Frazzle, almost evenly matched, other than in height, circle and swipe, circle and swipe, occasionally landing and glancing blows, neither causing much damage. Why won't you just die? Why won't you? I'm the hero! The hero never dies! Uh, that, that is a common misconception. The hero often dies. Next. Uh, most chosen ones only hold that title for about a year at most. My money is on six months tops! Well, Daniel has been the chosen one for nearly a year already. No! Well, I get confused by your puny human's measurement of time! How has Daniel lasted so long? He does not seem very a, very a skilled fighter. Uh, skilled enough to keep you from killing me. Not for long. Anyone else want a water break? Shut up, stupid! The battle intensifies. Blows flying more furiously. All of the combatants are soon bleeding from multiple wounds. But none show signs of slowing down until... Yes! You are dead, Frazzle! I do that the green have bested you in physical combat. <laughs> How dare you kill my monster, my brother monster? Oh, you so die like your brother for calling me a monster! Grezik jumps at Razzo, who turns to face him. Before Grezik can land, however, Daniel swings his axe and cuts off Razzo's head. <laughs> really? Wait. Now, wait, is Razzle like you, Grezit, or does beheading him actually kill him? Uh, only gurus can live without a body, Daniel Kravitz. Okay. Razzle is very, very dead. Woo! Uh, oh. a, a little help, if you would be so kind. <laughs> I thought we were fighting fair, yes. one on one. Yes, yes, well, I, I'd prefer not to fight at all, but you and your brothers all insisted, so. Oh. I'm sorry about this. Oh, goodbye. You were great. As Daniel and Grezit approach from either side, Daniel easily beheads Jeff. Whew. Well, thank you, Daniel. Uh, very nice work. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. I did nice work too, Rufus. Yes, yes, you did, Grezit. Many thanks. No, no. I want to hear Daniel say it. <laughs> you want me to compliment you? Yes. And you've known me for almost a year, right? And all that time, what about me do you think would make that ever happen? I have fun by you side twice now, Daniel Kravitz! Does this not earn me the right of releasing and maybe some kind words for my smizy eyesies? Hmm. That's a really tough question. No! <laughs> You can help me drag these demon bodies to the dumpster all back if you want, and then it's right back to the cage for you. <laughs> now, Daniel, given how Grezit has been cooperative, do you not think he deserves a little more respect than a dog cage? <laughs> no, I don't, Rufus. I still think he would slip my throat while I'm sleeping if he got the chance. He, so no. he would do no such thing. Oh, Daniel is right. I would slit his throat while he's sleeping if I got the chance. Then I would jump up and down at his sputtering body until all of the blood spews from the throat slit. Mm. I would tear his entrails out through his stomach and wear his hair as a stupid wig. Also, okay. the oh, that's quite uh, enough. Uh, that's quite enough. I see your point, Daniel. So, enough training for one day? Well, I should say so. I'll meet you back here tomorrow at 6 a.m. Now, killing three demons doesn't allow me to sleep in just once? Come on! Hold up! You did not kill all three! I killed one of the demons! I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's me. Sure. You can sleep in. If you want to die, that is. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Please sleep in! I want you to die, Daniel Kravitz! In that case, I'll see you bright and early in the morning, Rufus. Oh! Is this the end of Daniel's, um... Well, what kind of end could this be? Seems like a pretty close story to me. I don't know why we're always trying to force, is this the end line in here, which doesn't make any sense. 
Anyway, join us at Mad Lab for a July show for the most shocking episode of Daniel Kravitz Yet. It's all been done. Radio Hour, number 55. Daniel Kravitz, chosen one, number 10. Three's Company starred Nathan Haley as Daniel Kravitz, Shane Stavancic as Rufus Reginald Rochester, Ryan Yoey as Grezet the Green, Keith Jackson as Frazzle, Seamus Talty as Razzle, and Virgil von Hartzell as Jeff. It was narrated by Chris Allen, Foley artist Seamus Talty, music composed by Nathan Haley and Jerome Wetzel, performed by Nathan Haley. Please visit itsallbeendoneradiohour.com for more information, as well as our past episodes, audition packets, live show information, and more. We have our next live show coming up. Uh, well, we just had one yesterday, but our next live show coming up in February will be on Saturday the 11th at 5.30 p.m. at Mad Lab. Tickets are available at madlab.net slash tickets, and it will be Valentine's Day themed. So come enjoy that with us. If you post about us on social media, please hashtag IABD. And you can follow us at IABD Presents on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Just no heckling and shouting out. Silence your cell phones and no flash photography or videos, please. So let's have a quick moment of totally unscripted sincerity here. <laughs> <laughs> Just my glasses. Normally, this is where the... Per- no, I'm sorry. This is where the person that comes up asks you to promote us on social media and come back each and every month and all that. I'm not going to do that. You guys are intelligent, tech-savvy people, I'm sure, and if you like us, you'll talk about us in return with absolutely no prompting on our part. And if you don't like us, well, them's the breaks. We can't please everyone. But I hope we please you, and this afternoon provides a happy, fun memory for you to look back on for years to come. And if not, I'm sorry, I guess. Like I said, them's the breaks. Now, without further ado, it's all been done radio hour.